So after two years of sitting in the paddock, the cruiser's back in the shed. It's a 1990 FJ75 Toyota Land Cruiser troop carrier. Now there's a bit of a story behind this thing. We've had it for about five years. And dad's mate actually had this since brand new back in the day. And he used to drive around all Melbourne doing Melway maps. So this was bought, this Melway bought it for him back in the day, brand new. And this is what he worked out of. But I'll get dad and he can explain a little bit more about it. Melway bought this car for Daryl in 1990. He was originally commissioned for three weeks worth of work to help produce the first Melway. He finished up being with the company for 34 years. And in 1990, they decided to buy him a car because he was driving all the streets of Melbourne, just checking and remapping every road, every street, every roundabout, speed hump, lights, everything that's in the Melway. Very meticulous he was, to make sure it was perfect each time. So they bought him this car so he could do it and have his equipment in the back. All his paperwork and his maps and everything were on the front and he'd just drive all over Melbourne at streets that he picked out he was driving to. And that was all done in this car. So it's all factory ARB scrub bars. The front bull bar is all factory ARB. Except there's a bit of a story behind this and I'll get the old man to talk to you about that now. When Daryl got the car, he hadn't had a four-wheel drive before, so naturally you think they're invincible. He was in one new estate mapping it and he thought he'd drive through the paddock to get down to the second street to locate and map that. But halfway through the paddock he got bogged. It was about 400 feet from the nearest road and they had to get a special tow truck in with a long enough cable to tow him out. So when he got home, he made an A-frame so he'd never get stuck again. He was embarrassed. The whole idea is just to hook it up. Oh, it hasn't been down in a while. Hook it up to another car, so then you got eight-wheel drive. I think we've used this once, haven't we? Mm. You can hook it up to a car if it's broken down. The owner used to do it in the old days. So he finished up Melbourne, mapping all of Melbourne, every street in Melbourne that's in the Melways up to number 34. Um, he did Sydney, he drove up there in Sydney, he had a little moped in the back of it. So when he got there he pushed the moped out the back and he slept in the back of it in the caravan park, mapped all the city on the moped and all the streets in the car. He did Darwin in it, every street in Darwin. He did a couple of the streets or main part of Tassie. So it's been all over Melbourne, it's been all, everywhere really. All over Melbourne, all over Sydney, all over Darwin. So I'll um, give you a quick look inside. So it's all pretty basic and still pretty original in here. I think he used to stick his laptop up on this thing, didn't he? When they went digital, he had the laptop there. In 2002, I think it was, Melways had five computer guys working for him and they all said you can't digitise Melways, it's too complicated. So Christmas holidays in 2002, he went home and spent his whole holiday with, I think it was AutoCAD, made up all his icons and came back with a disc at the end of his holiday and said to the owner of Melway, here's Melway digitised. So they said go and buy yourself a new car and this was retired, this was given to Daryl as his weekender. Pretty cool story. Mm. Now it's been out of a motor, I think it's been three years, two and a half years without a motor in it. Waiting for us to decide what we're putting in it. And we've finally come up with a decision. We're going with the M57 BMW 3 litre with a six speed auto. So no more, we've been through a few different motor options in this. Started off with a 3F, then we put a 2H turbo in it. We weren't happy with that. So then put the 3F back in it for a while, and then we pulled it out. We were gonna put the four cylinder Cummins in it. 
decided against that and now we've opted for the 3 litre BM engine. So in the next video we'll start gutting out the engine bay, getting everything pulled out. We'll give it all a good pressure wash, get rid of all because there's bird crap in here, there's rat shit in here. Cut off the old mounts and start dummy fitting the new motor. The clutch booster can come off, all the old gas stuff. This clutch booster wasn't actually factory to this car, we've added that in when we first got it. Now everyone knows the best part of having a troopy is a double bed fits in there snug. And whenever you're camping, you just open up your back door and you're already set up, ready to go. This is still, I think it still registers an 11 seater where the seats used to come down here and the double mattress would sit on top and you could stick all your stuff under the mattress. And that way when you get there, you can just pull out your kitchen table and all your stuff and you're already basically set up. Now we are going to get this repainted. Hopefully I can get the decals, get new decals for it or at least get someone to make up some and get it all back looking factory, paint all the bar work. We're keeping the split rims, we'll repaint them and get new tyres and... But besides that, it's all factory. And we just need to, I think we've got a new... The hat things that go on here, but... So like I said in the next video, we'll start gutting out the engine bay, getting ready to fit the new one. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.